So next up we have Sora. So <laughs> dark jokes from web comics you like. Things like, miss your loved ones? You don't have to. Our JX1 laser scope. You present it to your best friend, a girl, without explanation. You listen to that Blink-182 song, I Miss You, on repeat. Because that line, we can live like Jack and Sally if we want, is the closest thing you've got to, the, to an idea of a queer relationship. You listen to Phantom Limb by The Shins a lot. Years later, you'll find out the song's about lesbian teenagers, but for now, you just appreciate the poetry and missing body parts that still hurt. You sing Anna Kendrick's cup song, Will You Miss Me When I'm Gone, to calm the kid you're babysitting, to raise money for the plane ticket that will get you away from your family. It's the most motherly thing you'll ever manage. You read a book about a girl genius who just wants to be a garbage man when she grows up. Her teacher's name is Miss Turbone, but she secretly calls her Mr. Bone. You read a book about a girl who sees letters and numbers in color, and you realize, hey, I do that too. But then you worry maybe you're making it up. Because you never really noticed until you came across it in this story. You're forgetting no one notices anything until they come across in a story that rainbows are just missed until the light hits them the right way. We're so programmed for fear of missing out, we forget to be afraid of fitting in. Especially when you're autistic and already worried about making mistakes, misinterpreting social cues, about blinking, you'll miss it gestures, and look me in the eye, or you'll miss the or you'll miss the mark body language. You struggle to explain yourself to people. They start seeing you as mysterious. You tell yourself there are worse labels. You're high functioning, but it turns out that's not a proper substitute for happy. Eventually, you'll have to admit it. Some things amiss. Getting better takes work, and it hurts, and you can't regulate it. You get misty-eyed at the smallest things. You start to realize just how much pressure you put on yourself to do well and how that prevents you from being well. You miss deadlines. You struggle to explain to a 40 figures, look, I've only recently started going through life as a person. Eventually you'll realize you don't owe a 40 figures an explanation. Not all your friends understand. You miss them. And you're sad they never got to really know you. You take the energy you were spending on trying to do gender right and you pour it into the people who are left. You know that one day, if and when you become a teacher, you'll have, you'll have to get the kids to call you something else instead of Miss Sora. Learning that non-binary people exist and deserve to exist will be part of their education. Sometimes you feel like you've missed so much and you mourn that. Other times you think about how you've spent most of your life not being free, and now you finally are, and you're really, really excited to see what comes next. Thank you. Let's give it up one more time for Sora. Yeah. 